Hi, welcome to the Sew Along 2020 with Gourmet Quarter with a distinctly Australian theme going on. So we're having a lot of fun with the Australian fabrics, um, very delicious by Nutex and we're doing some Australian designs. We've been doing a whole lot of um, blocks. We've done kookaburras and we've done koalas and gum nuts and kangaroos and all sorts of things. We've been having a lot of fun. We're up to part 13. There is a pattern available if you wanted to sign up to receive the pattern. It's on gourmetquilter.com and it's a Sew Along 2020. And so if you're getting the pattern each week, you're getting a pattern to download and print. And this week we're doing uh, part 13 and we're doing a platypus. So we've got one of our um, platypi up here and he's looking very happy. He hasn't got this little framework around his block yet, but he will have soon. Um, so we make, we're making two blocks, we've, we've got one going one way and one going the other way and as I said I haven't done the little frames, the blocks have this little framework around them as well and I will have to get mine done before next week but it's not done yet this week but I've done the applique so it's, it's kind of fun to do, we've got a whole lot of blocks going on, we've, we're getting through the blocks, we haven't finished them all yet but we're getting on really well. So this little guy here, now because everything's so dark, and I have been applicating with a darker thread, but I thought this guy really did need to be just a little bit lighter and a little bit more cheerful. So I've ended up doing the applique this time with, with a little turquoise type um, coloured thread. And I think it looks really good because he would of course be swimming in the water. The water may not be turquoise, however. So I've gone ahead and done all that. I've done the two appliques, I've just got to cut, I've got all my strips ready here to start cutting out for my frames. And then we just need to give him an eye. And I think that the eye is so small, it's probably too small to applique, you could embroider it by hand. I'm going to use a white gel pen. So I've, I've already given this guy up here a little eye. So I'm just going to do the same thing with this one here. And hopefully I'm going to get it in the right place because I'm not quite sure. It's an interesting thing with the platypus. When we lived in Australia, we lived on a, a little bit of a waterway and we used to have a little platypus who used to come and visit us and he'd come rolling past down the little uh, waterway near us. It was very exciting to see that because you don't see them often. So here he is. He's got a little eye so he can see where he's going. He looks like he's got other eyes because the fabrics are quite dotty. However, that was the platypus. I just thought we'd touch base, let you know what we're up to. We're doing block 13. And other than that, I've just got to put the framework around that. And I will see you again with part 14 for the Sew Along next week. <laughs>